Hello everyone, Louis here and today I have a special episode because we'll be reviewing two add-ons, two asset importer add-ons for Blinger 2.8. Uh, the first one is actually the Sketchfab uh, importer released last year uh, that can be found on the T tab, T panel here on the Blender 2.8. Now, this is actually a little bit wrong. Um, uh, it was defined that the T panel is now only for the tools. So it's just a matter of question for the Sketchfab team to move it to another section such as the end panel. And the other one is the Blender Kit, Blender Kit add-on. Uh, this one comes default with Blender, so you can find it right on the Blender add-ons menu. If you search for Blender Kit asset library, it's already here. It comes built in, so you need to check that up. And yeah, you have other options here. I'll mention that after. But anyway, this episode is a fight between Blender Kit and the uh, Sketchfab one. So for those of you that don't know what is a, a asset importer, basically any service or any uh, facility that allows you to import 3D models to your program, being that Blender, uh, directly from a cloud or a database uh, located in a server. So let's see here. Uh, the good point about the Sketchfab is that it's been around for way more time than Blender Kit. I would say since 2013, uh, so it's almost seven years now. I don't think, uh, post in the comment if you have that date. Uh, but anyway, uh, here I connected my Sketchfab account. Uh, you can search for 3D models, so let's do that. So here now I'm logged in. Uh, if you have a pro account, I had a pro account, I don't know what it's showing. Oh, here it is. Uh, so you can actually select um, your models. So I can select, for example, signs in barricades, paint splash, uh, all the models available over my Sketchfab account to import them. So let's do that. Let's select Unity Coordinate and hit import model. Now it's going to take uh, a few seconds to load, probably five minutes. And here we go. Here we have it. It's important. Now let's go to the look dev mode to preview the textures. Oh yeah, really interesting. So here's the model. Let's delete that, delete, delete the orange, delete everything. Let's import another model here. Uh, Probably Rhodonite Unity. No, let's import these signs and barricades back here. Hit import, two megabytes, and there we go. There we have it. Of course, it will import with the original author's scale, so you probably find lots of difference in scale here. But that's because we have different authors with different uh, modeling programs and that's uh, that's actually really interesting. But you can also search for other people's model. So any model that is free on your uh, on Sketchfab, man, it's more than two billion models. I don't know. Uh, you can search for them in here. So let's import. Let's see. Let's search for shoe, and let's see all the the results for shoe here. Um, Shoe, uh, relevance, yeah. So here you can see we have lots of uh, different uh, staff picked and also PBR filters animated. Let's inject staff pick so I can get more results. And there we have it. Let's import this Adidas one. 38 megabytes. Da -da -da. It will take a little while to import. There we go. Two seconds. And here we have it, man. Uh, it's matching the UI, man. Really interesting. Really interesting. It comes with this orange points, okay? Because of the scaling. If you want to diminish that, you can go to orange options here and shrink that size, okay? 
But anyway, that's the Sketchfab viewer. So really interesting options, search filters, results, uh, other data information about your model, really interesting. Now let's see how Blender Kit compares. So Blender Kit, uh, it's an initiative that uh, you can upload models for Blender Kit and also earn some money there. And part of this money that you upload uh, goes to the Blender Foundation along with the developers. So really interesting stuff. I think the monthly subscription is around five to nine dollars. I have to check that up. But uh, here we have some other props that you can search and you can drag them directly here. Uh, pallets, bolts, let's see, let's go to furniture. Now one interesting thing about Blender Kit is actually you can drag and drop the model and you can see a animation while it loads. So you can see the box filling up really interesting and you have a more spatial data so you can you can drag it to more specific types of your location. I see this tool is actually really good for ArchViz people, right? I don't know why it didn't import with the rest of the textures here. I think it's a bug. Probably on the shading part. Let's try importing another model, such as this. Uh -huh, let's see. Well, here's the downside. Uh, Blender Kit is relatively new and it has less models um, in this tool yet and also uh, most of the models here uh, it's locked behind a paywall so it's it's rare the free models here it's not everything that's free but you can see you have some really interesting uh, other modeling previews uh, one feature that I want to mention here is that you have link group and append objects. When you leave, leave group selected, uh, you won't be able to edit your models. So you need to leave the append object selected to actually be able to edit them in real time. So as you can see, since I left append objects, now I can, huh, for some reason, not edit that. Let's test with this chair instead. Da -da -da. Okay, now we have the mesh here that we can edit, right? So really interesting. Really also, it comes with the materials, I think. Oh, this one doesn't have materials applied. But yeah, uh, it also has a, a material tab here. So it comes with dirt, fabric, floor, FX, glass, Let's see concrete. Let's see what brings up. Oh, here we have a little concrete uh, option. So here we have a few concrete materials. Let's drag and drop this to the surface. Da -da. Okay, it's applying the material there. Okay, yeah, this is really interesting, man. I see this for ArchViz may be the perfect case. Let's see. Um, probably wood. Where is the wood? Okay, down here. The wood textures are the best ones. Mm, this one. Let's drag this one here. Dun, 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 loading. There we go. So yeah, guys, this is Sketchfab versus Blender Kit. So let me know what is the best Blender asset modeling, asset importer tool. Leave down the comment. If you like this video, please uh, consider subscribing, leaving a like, sharing it with your friends. I'm posting this weekly. And also check Blender Nation for more Blender news. And until next time, guys, see ya.